Hey, what's up, guys? I want to make a video today. Again, I make videos that are just on my mind and uh, things that are relevant and pertinent in my life. And today I went to the Gay Pride in the park in St. Catharines, uh, where I live. And uh, I went there for a few reasons. One is uh, I just like to see events that are going on. It's nice weather. If it's nice weather, nice, you know, community events, I'll just go and visit for one. <clears throat> Two, kind of curious to check out what what it's all about. And three, um, and this is the reason why, one of the reasons why I went last year was there were some cons concerns about uh, drag queens uh, doing like a burlesque show that at a family friendly event where they're wearing lingerie and exposed, last year they actually exposed themselves like the junk, you can call it a wall, wall like a malfunction of their, uh, of their clothes, but their junk fell out because you know guys junk is not meant to be in women's lingerie. right anyway in front of kids and kids were giving them dollar bills like putting dollar bills like in the g-string essentially like a stripper that's not appropriate so i went again this year just to make sure that that type of thing was not going on and uh, i was in contact with one of my friends rob who uh who is a major voice especially in the local community but he's been on um you know, he's, he's covered things about gay, gay events, gay pride events that were unethical and such and was like on Fox News and whatnot. But anyway, he got kicked out today, earlier today when he was just there. And uh, I, w I went there a little later in the day because I didn't finish work till like 5.30. So I was there and what I witnessed was it was a pretty, it was pretty weak. There wasn't many people there. There wasn't, wasn't like a, a full event now. Uh, maybe it was because it was later in the day, but just the whole like impression of it. Uh, first of all, there was a few stands, and they were just selling like bullshit merchandise. Like it was like pins and things of like little cheesy gay like rainbow things, and rainbow flag. Like every stand was selling rainbow flags. It's like how original um, and like little cliche things, right? Um, when I got there, there were, it looked like Boy George, kind of fat Boy George, 300 pound Boy George was singing some songs. And, uh, but it was, wasn't like a drag queen performance. It, like he was totally covered, right? And then there was, uh, this boy band, I think they were called, uh, three guys that looked like they were like, uh, Iranian or something. They were darker, darker complexion. And I was actually pretty impressed with their show. It was very gay, very gay, still. But um, you know, it was actually they were good dancers, right? and I can respect the dance. And I ended up talking with them after I got their, my picture taken with them because I was like, "Hey, great, great job, guys! You know, it was, it was a show, and they they wanted they were interested. And they're very sweet guys, you know. And that's the thing. Like, I have no problems with gay people in the gay community at all. In fact. I'll let you in on a secret. In 2012, I moved to Spain, and I was a promoter for some of the biggest nightclubs in the world in, in Ibiza, Spain. I don't know if you heard of Ibiza. Ibiza. It's in the Mediterranean, off the coast of Barcelona. There, there's the biggest nightclubs in the world, and by biggest, I mean like, for example, Privilege, one of them. There was like tens of thousands of people in at one time in this nightclub. Okay. Well, I used to be a major promoter there and photographer but mostly promoter the job goes hand in hand but promoting some of the biggest fucking gay parties in the world one was called supermarché and the other one was a fucking much more explicit one and by explicit i mean there was literally gay performances going on where there was gay sex shows going down on stage okay I've been exposed to the most gayest shit that you can imagine, okay? Like, what I saw today was nothing in fucking comparison, okay? Like, this was, this was nothing at all, okay? Now, granted, what I witnessed today was family-friendly, okay? But another one was not, okay? It was at all. <clears throat> that being said, you know, I'm not gay at all. Never been, never done anything like that. By being exposed to the gay community, I've had many gay friends, and I've worked in the industry in that regard. But also worked for parties that were not gay. Okay, I was, it wasn't like I was doing doing promotion, gay promotions. Like, 
I was doing all types of nightclub promotions. As well, I've also had some of my best friends in life. One of my best friends, Brenton, he recently passed last year. He died from a heart attack. He was only 42 years old. He was one of my best friends. He was gay for many years. And it was actually cool hanging around with him. He was very, like I say, he was one of my, bro he was one of my bros. Like, this is the way it is. And, you know, by chilling with him, actually, like, I met more chicks than I would, you know, if you want, if you're a single guy and you want to meet chicks, if you hang around with gay guys, you'll meet with a good amount of girlfriends that are actually cool gay guys, you'll, it's a good thing. Just throwing that out there. Side note. But I just want to throw th those things in at my own personal life experience. And, you know, I've, I've, like, like I said, I have a lot of gay friends and I've exposed to the gay community. What I saw today was, was not a big deal. But... I guess earlier there was some drag strippers and the issue I have with that is I see the drag on par with what is known as burlesque dancing and burlesque dancing is in the same ballpark or genre as stripping right because they're doing like the fucking splits they're wearing lingerie it's costumes but, but it's seductive, seductive costumes, and I just don't see that as family appropriate. Now, I know it's a bit of a gray area, and some of you guys might be like, no, it's not. It's definitely explicit. But it's like, <clears throat> when it comes to dancing and things, like, yeah, it's it's there is a gray area between dance and sexualized dance. But I do believe, and I'll just say it, that a lot of the time, especially what I witnessed last year, with sexualized dance and there's no justification when you have children giving them dollar bills or five dollar bills we're in Canada we don't have dollar bills we have five dollar bills like that's just weird <clears throat> so my analysis of what's going on in the gay community is a few things what I'll, I'll say what I witnessed today first of all just your general gay dude is so kind of there's nothing to be threatened by these guys they're so like fancy pants type you know what i mean they're they're not there's they're nothing there's no nothing to be threatened by these fuckers not fuckers like okay they're, they're nice some of them are nice guys some of them are very sweet okay but it's like but then there's an aspect of the gay community which i think we should be weary about which is being hijacked by this cultural marxist extremism for example today i saw this chick well i don't know if it's a chick it might be a they them whatever that means where um it says protect trans kids and then it has a fucking night dagger on it it's like what that's a bit extreme first of all you're gonna protect them with a dagger your trans kids with a dagger like oh i'm gonna stab somebody second of all what the fuck is a trans kid and you're all for child mutilation and gender reassignment surgery and hormone blockers for kids as for as young as 10 to 12 that's fucked i'm not for that by any means whatsoever and i believe a lot of people in the gay community are not even for it i believe these types of people the cultural marxist types the rainbow cult i call them have tried to hijack the gay and le traditional gay and lesbian community. You know, I believe a lot of people in the traditional gay and lesbian community are not really happy about that. Some people, they distance themselves from the other ones. Like I see, I even saw today, I witnessed kind of different demographics within this. I was just there primarily just to people watch and to soak it all in, to, to kind of get my like feet wet and, and, and sense for myself what what is going on with these people, with this, with this culture. But for the most part, it was just a bunch of fucking prancy gay boys, you know, having a few drinks and, oh my God, and then my boyfriend, he did this today, and um, it's so, so crazy. He's like, fuck, oh my God, did you see him? Like, okay, the stereotypical gay shit, there's nothing to be threatened about by that, those fuck, those gay guys. But what there is threatened about is I think, now I think, I know, this, these Marxists 
that are trying to infiltrate the gay community and other types of uh, communities like in a victimization class community and and then like inject essentially communism that's what it's all about and I did see a little bit of that today but again I wouldn't be too worried about them uh, although you know when we see big corporations in, in our government and local governments align with that there's definitely an agenda to push that but I think it's failing because compared to last year the amount of that they're pushing this year is about 30 percent of what they pushed last year if you notice just notice they're not pushing as nearly as hard because they know they realize I think they realize that it's just it's just the is that a hill they want to die on no and who are they really aligning themselves with? There's no gravitas there. There's a fringe group. It's a fringe minority group. Like, they, they tried to hijack the gay community. But I think a lot of them are, aren't even going on board. It's like a really niche group of of uh, Marxists who <clears throat> I don't think really have... Well, in the end, once they expose themselves and make their bold move, like they did last year. Last year, they made their bold move. Like a chess move, but it didn't work. So now they're backing off. Like this year, I, I don't see the same the same backing as I did last year or the year before. And I don't see, like for example, the Pride and Park in Niagara today, it being a really significant event, which demonstrates that it's, there's nothing to be worried about from where these people, really. <clears throat> and it's a, I think it's a real shame because this rainbow cult and these Marxists are really shining a bad light on the gay and lesbian community, which, you know, there's a lot of good people in it and there's a lot of cool people. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I don't, they're fun, actually a lot of time uh, events I've been at that have been gay have been really fun. And there's nothing, you know, I'll just say that, like, there's nothing, I don't care. It's cool. So, but I don't, I don't think this cool with this drag queen bullshit and this fucking protect trans kids with a dagger bullshit. Not, not about that whatsoever. <clears throat> Anything else I should address on this video? Yeah, uh, it's really, I think it's what just a symptom of uh, some type of mind virus that's uh, that's perpetuated in our culture and infected the minds of our youth and uh, trying to make a youth movement that's like a cultural revolution like kind of like a Maoist Chinese cultural revolution to shift our culture into one that's Marxist but I don't, it, I don't think it's happening I just don't see it and I think they realize that too and that's why they're backing off from Pushing this this uh, rainbow call as as hard as they the liberals for example as hard as they did last year because I just don't see it perpetuating I don't I, I really don't so uh, I'll leave it there guys what do you guys think like about everything that I said again like I'm somebody who's being well into the gay community uh, not gay myself by any means but worked in it worked pr promoting these these shows the super marche show which was a really fun party actually it wasn't just gay like straight people would go to it too I mean, a lot of chicks there but it was also very gay but there was uh other ones that were a bit more extreme than that and you know it's it's it's, it's, it's it was an eye-opening experience to see the, i experienced the most Intense things that you can imagine when it comes to that scene. So nothing surprises me now, and I think that makes me coming to something like today, the Pride and Park, be somebody who's a good critic and a good um, observer and, and tell things how it is. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'll leave it there. I'm just rambling now. Thank you for watching, guys. Leave in the comments. As always peace.